Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a rather special unboxing. This is actually a gift from my boyfriend Chris and it is my birthday plant. This particular plant has been one that I've been excited about for a long time. I've wanted this plant as pretty much when I first started collecting Ethereum. It's one of the ones I put on my wish list but it felt very unattainable. It's always hard to find and I was so thrilled <laughs> when Jimmy from Legends of Monstera posted one on his Etsy shop. So I cannot wait to unbox this. She's not in her full glory right now, so I can't wait to show you when she has more growth updates, but uh, I'm just so excited to finally have one of these plants. <laughs> Any guesses on the type of plant it is? Oh, wait. No, I already told you what type of planet it was. Okay. But, uh, the exciting moment. And I've seen some of these babies sell, well, and by babies, I mean like little like smaller plants that these sell for a lot lately. So I'm glad I can get one of this size. It's not gigantic, but it's a good size. This is none other than the Anthurium Luxurians. And I did get a heat pack with it, but it's still a bit cold, but only because with all these COVID uh, delays out there, it did take quite a few days to get to me. So I'm assuming the heat pack stopped working. Um, and for some reason we've had more of a cold spell this week. But wow. So as you can tell, see the petiole of it. Just how gorgeous. I honestly feel so lucky that I was able to get one of this size. And I can't wait for the new leaves it produces. As you know, these get pretty big and beautiful and heart-shaped and I'm so excited. So, so happy. The Luxurians. I feel like she deserves all the camera time. By the way, I have named her Letha. <laughs> wow. So right now there's a lot of hybrids being sold out there with Ethereum Luxurians, but they're being sold as Luxurians. And you'll know if it's not Luxurians based on its very distinctive petiole and all the rippling in the leaves. A lot of times the hybrids won't have this much rippling. They'll look like a Luxurians, but it won't be one. And you'll just know because it's extremely rippled. I mean, just look at that. You'll see he has that little sinus there where the lobes touch, but there is that gap. It's super cute. <laughs> Love this plant. These are quite pricey, so if you're looking for one, you definitely will be paying some kind of good price point. Actually, as soon as Jimmy listed this one, because I check eBay and Etsy all the time, I pretty much just bought it almost right away <laughs> because there was another one on eBay I was watching that was a baby one and it was already a few hundred dollars and I was like, okay, well, this is really close to that. I'm just gonna get this one. And that baby one I think went to like $800 and I'm just like, God, I don't know like, I don't know if it's this quarantine. I'm pretty sure it is this quarantine, but a lot of people are just spending a ton of money on plants right now, like more than even before. And it's just like, uh, it's crazy. And the amount of people I've seen just post in forums, hey, I've got my stimulus check, what plants are out there? It's crazy. So very, very happy with my little birthday guy. Chris was very, very generous in getting this for me. I look forward to making her very comfortable as she's probably had a heck of a time in transit. I think it's been about six days, so quite a bit of time. But that's not too horrible for an Ethereum, so yeah. But that heat pack definitely, obviously with these delays, was not going to cut it. I'm kind of annoyed at this cold spell too. Like we've had such like good warm weather lately and then randomly this week, like 
just really cold. And I didn't expect it. I know it's like snowing a little bit farther up north from us right now, like today. And I'm just like, how? <laughs> but yeah, a little luxuriance. Right, Letha? Just hoping her, she's not too cold damaged. I have full confidence in her revival. <laughs> and if you ever do get a cold damaged plant, also, um, Sometimes the cold damage symptoms don't show up for a few days. So do please keep that in mind. I'm actually really glad I ordered a heat pack. I did just in case, and I didn't think it was even necessary. Looking at the roots now. So we've got some roots that aren't great, but we have some really healthy roots as well. I'll show you that in a second. There's the roots on there. Focus. So all these white ones here, that's all new growth, so that's great. But it does have some good healthy roots, so. But I can't believe I even have this plant. I'm just so excited about it. So I am gonna head off now and treat this guy and give him a good potting. And then I'm gonna take a few glamour little video shots of him and show you that. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. If you want to see more content, please subscribe. I do attempt to paste a video every Wednesday. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. So I just quickly wanted to do a little bit of an update on Letha. So she's doing perfectly fine. It's been a few weeks. I've moved her out of my greenhouse and into my plant room and she actually already has a new growth point there so I'm really excited about that but yeah she's doing really wonderfully I think she had like no acclimation issues at all and I'm really really excited for that new leaf